Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here from DarkGadgets.com. Today we're we'll taking a look at the Surface from Microsoft. Now this is the Windows RT version. The regular version will not come out uh, until maybe in a couple of months. Uh, Microsoft hasn't really announced it yet. Uh, this is the $600 model. It comes with a black touch cover and 32 gigabytes. You cannot choose your touch cover of choice unless you get the regular Surface and then buy the touch cover separately in which that case it would be more than six hundred dollars um, but yeah I waited a couple of hours in line and they gave me this free one year pass to Xbox music I have no idea if I'm gonna use that yet and I guess when you buy it you also get this booklet which comes with a couple of promo codes for downloads on uh, Barnes and Noble and also you get like a month of free Skype calls international and a couple of other goodies which is cool to see now taking a closer look at the box you can see I mean it's very simple there is actually nothing important around here in the back it just tells you about what's included inside the box and on the sides we just have logos and branding but yeah let's get to the good stuff we just pull this out right here and sorry I'm zoomed in so close it is so you can see the tablet better and the X stories when it comes out uh, so you can see here normal white box and then beneath it is another slide um, they both slide out at the same time so let's take out the touch cover here um, and I believe this one sells for about $120 by itself uh, very slim but we'll take a look at that in a second let's put that aside for now and in here we're gonna get um, looks to be like just regular paperwork and stuff uh, all right, let's put that aside as well and let's get to the important stuff here the surface itself Which we will pull out right now Put to a side and of course The other important things the charger here, which we can take a closer look at uh, And you can see it kind of looks like the MacBook Pro chargers or Apple's chargers magnetic latch like that uh, so it attaches safely um, and it just looks kind of nice and of course we have the power brick right there very standard stuff it's a nice cord heavy duty and also comes with a clip right there uh, good to see good to see uh, let's see this um, just of course some regular paperwork getting started guy hardware setup which you might want to read if you're not familiar obviously with Windows 8 or any of all this new stuff and yeah so let's move on to the most important thing here let me focus that in for you all right and of course the tablet itself okay let's put everything aside here nothing else is important right now uh but yes here we have it it's actually pretty large tablet as you can see there uh it comes up the whole video screen right here uh, so this is why it was really an awkward angle to shoot at. It's pretty large. Let's just start to boot this up right now while we take a look at it. All right, so there we got it to turn on. It kind of took a while right there. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at it closer. At the top here, we have a front-facing camera. None of these cameras are HD or anything. Uh, they're actually pretty low quality um, compared to what Apple has on the iPads. And we also have one on the back. Now you can see right there, I've been holding it for like a couple of seconds and the fingerprints are crazy. Uh, but yeah, all that aside, let's just take a look at what's in here. Um, a closer look. We have a headphone jack right there. We have a speaker uh, grill right there. We have the volume buttons. Uh, a little, you know, latch right there so we can pull that back. It requires a good amount of force. I mean, you can't just flick it and it'll open. Um, then in here, nope, that's on the other side. We'll get there in a second. At the bottom, we have the, of course, the attachment so that we can attach the smart cover, not the smart cover, uh, the touch cover that it comes with. All right, then right here we have for the charger, it's magnetic, so let me show you that real quick. Uh, should attach like so. There we go. Uh, nice and strong, just like a MacBook. Um, then we have a USB connector, which is really nice to see on a tablet. Many people actually um, still use those. 
myself included, I use it all the time. Um, we have a what looks to be a micro USB and then another speaker grill. Of course, at the top we have the sleep and wake button and it looks to be some microphones or speaker grills. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, here we pull this up and we're gonna find a micro SD card right in there, a slot. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. Probably cannot see that, but it's there. All right, so moving right along here, um, you can see that it has booted up and we're gonna take the cover right here and it's just gonna latch on very easily right there. Just kind of, it's very strong to actually pull off and take apart. I mean, it requires a lot of force. You can hear that. We can compare it real quick to the smart cover sound. So there we go. And then let's take the iPad real quick. So you can see the sound on this. Yeah, so I mean, the sound on this is much more significant, or I mean the magnets on this are much more stronger. Uh, real comparison, I'm not really gonna compare it here. I'm gonna compare it in a different video, but just so you can see real quick, maybe if you don't watch those. Um, I mean, slightly thicker. Of course, the edges aren't as beveled and it's much longer much longer indeed uh, so it makes it feel obviously a lot heavier and a lot sturdier um, but I mean comparing the weight right here out of hand this one weighs a lot more um, it kind of feels you know like a, like a notebook uh, but it does have a more premium feel to it uh, you feel very executive um, now of course this just opens like so and you bring it down like this and you pull back that like so to get this kind of like you know laptop layout which looks pretty damn nice right there um, so if we move this around you can see the mouse is there and now the button right here this is capacitive it's not an actual button which I thought it was before I actually um, played with it um, but you can see it works fine and let me just type in my password real quick all right, so password has been set up and I'm not really gonna go over any of the UI. Um, you should be familiar with this if you've ever used Windows 8. If you're not, I'll probably make a video going over it and comparing it to a couple of other things. And also make a video of just the keyboard alone. But I mean, that's pretty much it for the unboxing. It looks pretty damn nice from first impressions. I mean, you can just see there, everything just makes, it gives it that much more of an experience. Now, of course, subscribe if you wanna check out more content on the, Microsoft Surface and next week we will be getting our hands on the iPad mini as well and comparing all of these together um, But yeah, thank you guys for watching and we will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye